celebrate I'm in better way, thinking how'd I make All this happened for myself and my family All this happened for myself and my family There's no way that this is real, man, it can't be well, I was 21 when I made my first real estate investment I, I took this girl to the prom like when I was a when I was a senior. Uh, her brother was doing real estate, so like at the time when I started doing real estate, her brother basically kind of took me on under his wing. I would work for him for free, you know, just do a bunch of errands and do a bunch of running around. But I was paying attention the whole time, and I was at the time I probably was working 15, 16 hours a day, just you know going non-stop with it. At that point I could say like her brother was like a big part of me learning like how to invest or flip a house. Right. Coming, up and coming entrepreneurs I, I would just say I recommend that like they understand how to put in double the time. That they understand that making money is not just laboring but it's just like using your mind. Understanding like how to operate with certain principles. It's kind of like you know, when you're trying to get something from somebody, you got to give something, you know, to them first. Like I was telling you, I was working for free. You know, I understand that, like, this person, they already got what I'm trying to get. I'm willing to, like, give up front and get where I'm trying to go. What's the biggest lesson I can say I learned? I learned a bunch of lessons, but I didn't learn a bunch of stuff the hard way. I done everything so proper when I when I started actually doing because I was being careful you know because like it's the only money I got right but I had already been working for free for about a year so I had learned so much so to be honest with you I was learning mistakes while I was learning. not paying for them right which is why I would I would always encourage people to like when they trying to do something to like intern or you know just like I said you got to give give your time right, right. You no know, because I was able to learn a bunch of stuff without wasting money right. that's why I like this consulting program that I got like I charge people ten thousand dollars to like do one-on-one -on -one consulting right and like this consulting thing that I got you know it's it's for that particular reason right there you know for other people to be able to like come to me and and I've been doing this 11 years right. for them to skip any mistakes that I've ever made right. and for them to just sh be able to shoot straight to like understanding exactly how to do this. Right. And, but it, it costs them 10,000. Right. And, and you know, just like I said, what are you willing to give? Right. Is you willing to give first to get where you're trying to go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I charge people because, you know, it's probably, it's probably, you know, millions of people that probably want to know how I did what right, I did, right, just like it's right. other people in the world that I would like to know how they did what they did. Right. They don't know me, you know, so uh, I, I have to like present something to like be in their print. I get wave. Wave but I couldn't picture being champagne when I would buy that shit and save it for the right occasion. I, I, I would feel like from my standpoint at the time that I did have like quick success. Cause like the first six months, I only made like twelve thousand in real estate when I yeah. first when I first did real estate. So, but then when that next year came, I made a hundred and fifty thousand. And you keep in mind, I was like twenty one years old. So, you know, I made a hundred and fifty thousand. Like <laughs> to me, that was a quick success for I'm me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, so like my second, like well, really my first full year in real estate, I made a hundred and fifty thousand. So. Okay. You know, at the time, like I said, I hadn't, I hadn't had no hundred thousand. You know, I ain't, I ain't made no money like this at the time. So I was 21 years old, and I, sure, I made 150 thousand that year. I probably saved 120 of it. Word? <laughs> yeah, I probably saved 120 of it. I wasn't doing nothing. In order for you to like become wealthy or get rich, like you, you got to train your, you got to train your mind to be disciplined first. Right. You know, before you, before you, like. You got you got certain people that make a bunch of money, and then you got certain people that their minds are trained, and they got a bunch of discipline before they started making a bunch, bunch of money. Of money. Right. And like them, the people you probably gonna see the better results with. Right. So it's, it's really like if this person was fortunate enough to to have discipline before he started making money. Right. That, that's what separates the two. When I was pumping gas on road trips to go from Cincinnati on a date, and I couldn't gauge it. I want to thank God for working way harder than I Satan mean, you know, at a certain point, like everybody going to spend spend money on different things that they like. 
Like, you know, right now you see me riding a, a bunch of different cars or having some jewelry or right. like buying clothes or taking right. trips. Like this, this is like stuff that my viewers see me doing. But, you know, I probably spent like six years not doing none of that. Mm. Like when to I get first to, to, to get to starting to do that. Well, I, I just wanted to like, I wanted to make sure I was stable enough to where I never went back to the hood. You right. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I wanted to make sure I was stable enough where just any of my days, you know, that I had when I was growing up or like the places that I live, right. like, you know, God had blessed me with this opportunity to make it like to make some money. So right. I, I wanted to like, you know, pay close attention to what I was doing and make sure like, you know, I didn't waste it. Right. This a life, bit we can never separate. I'm in better weight, thinking how I make. All this happened for myself and my family. All this now, my first real estate property I bought, I bought um, through, through a hard money lender. So hard money lenders like people that lend money just like the banks do. So this particular company was an institution out of Dallas. You know, like normal companies that you get a loan from, they charge like four or five percent. This, right. Yeah, this company charged me 13% interest. But I was, I was cool with whatever they was charging me because I, I had a plan. Right. You know, so right. whatever I had to pay to get the money, you, I was going to pay it. Right, right. Yeah, like I, I went through this hard money lender and, you know, I bought my first crib and I made like $29,818 off of it. Like I still remember that. Yeah. <laughs> How was that feeling that first check like? I mean, like, I just couldn't believe it happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause like, when you younger and you you growing up and like, like growing up in the hood, a bunch of a bunch of stuff like that people tell you gonna happen. It's like you never really get to experience it happening. Right, right. So like, you don't really know like the feeling of it actually going through. through right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when you get to a place where you doing something, it's actually going through. Word. You you like you really tripping off of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obligation is to tell it straight. So much on my plate, I gotta delegate. Baco pass a drug test, we gotta sell I put the old 29818 in the bank. You know, me, I, I always believed in like paying my, you know, first. paying my tithes. Right. You know, so like whatever God bless me with, I give them 10% of it. You right. know what I'm saying? It don't matter what, you know, if somebody. If, if my homeboy give me two thousand, I feel like it's a blessing. I'm gonna I'm pay two hundred. You still do that to yeah, this day? Yeah, I still do that today. If I get a million dollar check, I'm gonna I'm shoot a hundred thousand. You know, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a hundred thousand. Like, cause that's that's wow. just like that's just the principles I I believe in and like right. how I operate with God. You know, He blessed me. You know, what I'm saying this is what I owe Him. So. You know, that's just how I was raised too, man. My mom, I always like kind of you know, taught me like different things and I was able to read stuff for myself. So I, I felt like all of it made sense to me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I took like, uh, you know, like 3000 and paid out and I probably put 2000 in my pocket. Yeah. And then I, um, I gave my little sister like 2,500 because, you know, I actually used her name to buy my first property. Really? Yeah, you know, because at the time, like, I had some problems with my credit because okay. my cause my mom, yeah, yeah, right. so I used my little sister, you know. Right. And then at the time, like, stuff was so open, like, you ain't need nothing but a 550 credit score. And, you know, at that time, I ain't even have a 550 credit yeah, score. Yeah. But, you know, my little sister, that's she... That's mom's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. But my, wow. You know, my little sister, she was like... All right, cool. You know, and I I, I shot her twenty five hundred for doing it for me. Yeah. It's, and the rest of it, I, I just left it in the bank so I can. You know, I went and got two more loans from them. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But but they cool. make you put down down payments too. So I use some of the money to put down no, the other so down payments. Yeah, right, yeah, right, and just right. keep okay, rolling. Cool. My boy. Hey, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, you gonna die? I heard you get stuck.